What's up guys, this is episode two of River Test on Fishing Made Easy. And tomorrow what we're gonna be using is nothing but swim baits. We're gonna go out there on the Flint River, as you can see uh, behind me right here, and we're gonna catch some, uh, I'm sure we're gonna catch some great shell bass. One of the lures we're gonna be using is this mad dog uh, swim bait right here. This is a shell cracker. And the guy that makes this lure, that he no longer makes them anymore. So you can find them for about 50 bucks on eBay or Amazon, but they're really hard to find and they're very expensive if you do find. Another one we're going to use is this guy right here, this white bull shad. Uh, it's a lipless swim bait. We're going to be throwing it out there. I'm sure it's going to pick up a lot of fish. And we're also going to be throwing a line through panicked action optimized uh, swim bait. What is a soft plastic swim bait? It's, it's really large. It's like a large super fluke. So I'm sure we're going to have some great fish. Like and subscribe, and we'll see you soon. Guys, we're finna paddle up this bridge right up here. And uh, see if we can locate some bass up on this bridge. We're just kind of working this thing just like you would a fluke. Working it slowly through the water, letting it fall. And reeling it a little bit slower, letting it fall and reeling it. Oh, got him. Got him, guys. Oh, he shook me. He shook me. First one of the day and he shook me, guys. But that gives me hope because we know this thing works. So, only thing I'm worried about this bait's a little bit big. And I may be getting those short strikes right here. But, uh. Oh, something a little special this morning, guys. It's hard to find. It's this mad dog swim bait right here. So it's going to be devastatingly heartbreaking should I lose this lure. But I think this guy will kill. If you find one of these, you're up around 50 bucks a pop just to get one. see right here I have this uh, jointed swim bait in the white color we really like the white color out here on the river you know we have a lot of luck with it and uh, we're just gonna be fishing the structure out in the deep water Completely. We're going to have to go this way. Guys, the water is cold. Cold. The boat's about to sink. Guys, so, uh, we just had a little flip, flip a rooski. That was wild. So we just tossed the canoe, managed to get everything back. And that was, it took a, took a minute to get the canoe on the bank, get all the gear back in the boat. But we're back at it. Safety advice, if you're ever on the river, pay attention to what's going on. As you can see, my shirt is soaked. I was about to say, I haven't Oh, we got one. Oh yeah. Oh yes. Oh yeah. Bit picked up a shoal bass. See, nice pass. 
good shoal bass just on the steady of the tree. All right, guys, so what we're doing with these swim baits in this deeper water is we're kind of floating through looking for uh, rocks and moss and, and where they held up at. And the way you can tell it here in the flint, for one way, is we're just looking for the shadow of a rock on the water. When we start seeing that, that's where we're throwing these swim baits in, running them by, and that's where these big bass are going to be held up and they're going to be waiting to smash these things. Guys, we're heading on down the river right now. We're gonna go down here, try some more spots, see what we can hit. Stay tuned. Just caught a nice little shoal bass right here on the optimum bait swim bait. Nice little bass. So guys, you can see right here, that's what I caught him on. Produces fish. I should have been using it all along. I switched it up to the other swim bait. Missed a few, but uh, this one right here seems to be doing pretty good. So we are fishing in still water right now. As you can see, you can pick up shoal bass in the still water. We're just right above the shoals. You can also get hung up over there too. Catch. Get that swim bait steady retrieve and he just hammered this thing. I'm gonna drop him back in. Getting ready to end the day and a little spot picks it up right at the bank. What's up guys? We just finished up out here on the river so we done real good throwing just a swim bait. So if you if you don't have a menu type of box and you want to fish good, you want to fish good on the flint, pick up some of these nice shoal bass, spots, whatever. It's definitely a staple bait. You know, and if you can afford or, or find somebody that has one of these guys. This is the uh, the Mad Dog uh, Bluegill Swim Bait. Definitely worth the price. Pick up some real nice shoal bass today. We're going to have some more river tested videos coming for you. And as always, like and subscribe.